What's going on boys and girls, TJ here back again with another video and in this video we're going to run you through another vlog, another day in life slash full day of eating. It's going to be a little bit different today because today is the day before I play a game. So we've got a game day tomorrow, so today's Friday, game tomorrow and I'm just going to take you through because a lot of people get confused about carbo loading before a game or training the day before a game and all of those sorts of things. So hopefully in this video, we're gonna try and um, explain and just show you what I do personally and what I would recommend. And again, what I'm gonna say is why I do these things as well. So hopefully we're gonna all learn something from today, this, this next five to 10 minutes or however long we've got coming up for this video. You know how long it is, but I don't. So hopefully we're all gonna learn something. It's like 7 a.m. or something in the morning and I wanted just to have breakfast out because I didn't want to wake up earlier. I wanted to get my sleep. Sleep's really important. So I'm just gonna have breakfast out. I'm gonna get a lot of work done now. I'm here at the cafe. So I'm gonna get stuff done, um, client programs done, um, and a new project I'm setting up that's gonna get done today. Gonna get done in this one. Um, it's breakfast time. Okay, so because it's right next to the gym, we decided to, because right, it's right next to the gym, decided, or the swimming pool I'm going to, we decided to go to Einstein's bagel. It's got a nine grain bagel, sausage, two eggs, and a little bit of jalapeno schmear, and a coffee. Trying to get in high-ish high, high -ish fat um, at the beginning of the day, just so I can have a lot of carbs at night, and it just, ends up balancing out. I don't want to eat a big high carb and high fat meal because it just I won't be able to eat it. So it's easier if you separate them up and they become easier to eat. So yeah, let's get work done. Right, so that's work done. Well, not that, well, that bit of work done for the day. Client updates done. Now I've got to head to the gym. I've got about 30 minutes to get a session in which is fine because obviously it's the day before a game so i'm only doing like a little bit of power work just to keep up a little bit of power volume nothing that's going to give me any sort of doms or fatigue for tomorrow um and then i'm gonna do a bit of arms as well because uh i just want to do a bit of arms and this whole as i said before this whole goal of uh trying to improve my physique i guess um uh, means that I've got to just give my arms a little bit more attention, a little bit of shoulder prehab, and then into the pool to try and relax and cool down. And yeah, there's no intra workout shake today because of the nature of the session being low intensity slash uh, low volume. There's nothing really that I need to recover from like instantly. And I'd rather eat and consume my food so that uh, just to feel fuller, feel prepared for the game tomorrow. And obviously if it's real food, it's got more chance of taking a while to digest and being ready for me for my game tomorrow. That's the training session all done. Uh, got a good little swim in, which obviously I couldn't film, but you, you got a quick snippet of everything else. Kept it low, nothing above like 60%, but got in enough reps in to give it some quality volume, but not too many reps where I'm actually getting any fatigue. Just a bit of power work, and then, yeah, a bit of the guns. And now we're gonna eat, and obviously I didn't have my usual breakfast this morning of uh, potatoes and eggs, so guess what? Boom, boom, we're gonna do it again. And I didn't manage to film that meal like completed because I got the call to have my meeting basically as I was putting it on the plate. So I decided just to eat um, whilst I was on the phone. Don't worry, it wasn't gross or anything. Like I had the headphone attachment, so I had both hands free and it went well. So look out for train heroic or my 
own programming coming for you available to download to your phone on the train heroic app look for that coming out in the next coming week or so uh fine, glad to get that finalized and everything looks pretty good um now going to pick up the wife and take her for a training session as you know i'm a good husband those are the sorts of things that i do um i'm gonna make her deadlift and stuff but yeah i haven't managed to eat as much as i'd like already at this point today but that's fine it's around what four or five and what i'm gonna do is just make sure i'm drinking lots of water staying fine with that um if worse comes to worse i'll snack on one of these bad boys quest chips uh and if i don't do that or even if i do i'm just gonna have a big meal tonight i'm gonna do it proper italian style so i've bought a couple pizza bases uh or flatbread bases gonna have one of them and i'm gonna have a meal of pasta and that's it um people overthink how complicated a, a carbo load needs to be it's just getting three to five hundred grams of carbs and you can do that throughout the day relatively easily anyway um, and I haven't been low carbon it during the week anyway so I'm gonna have a lot of glycogen aka energy stored in my muscles before today anyway so I don't need to like it's not like I'm uh, topping them up from empty I'm just topping them up so um, pizza and pasta tonight and I should be fine people tend to overthink it the other thing people tend to do is when you're carbo loading obviously you're trying to get as much carbohydrate stores in your muscles as possible ready for the game that doesn't include fat you can't just go ahead and store fat in the muscles so when people end up having like a big um, I know I'm having a pizza but I'm gonna make it myself but when people have a big greasy pizza or a real high fat as well as high carb meal that's when you end up just putting on like bad weight you end up getting fat because you're not putting on or you're not eating the carbs for the energy you're eating a lot of fat which is just pointless almost calories um, that you're not gonna be able to store and use tomorrow so hopefully that makes sense if it does let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below also if you currently carbo load for uh, the day before a game or if you do any sort of nighttime pre game rituals that you have. Or let me know in the comments below if there's anything in particular that you do. Now, here are the rugby muscle coaches, TJ and Alex. I don't actually listen to myself. Right, so we're on to course one of dinner because it's kind of late, but we're going to spread it out over a bit a bunch of time and we've got this pizza homemade of course so we've got it's made from stone fire flatbread so it's not too high in fats like i said before and we've got chicken uh, low fat cheese again because we don't be too high in fat and we've got yes come at me haters we've got pineapples on it and now it's going to cook ready Cook. <laughs> Was that the best camera trick you've seen on YouTube? I think so. I think so. So for this video, I want you to put in the comments below what your favorite or what your homemade pizza would be. What would you put on it? Um, so I've got chicken, pineapple, and sriracha sauce. What would you put on it? I want to know. Inspire me. Course two is being cooked now pasta, vegetables, and tuna. And then course three is gonna be, I think, oats. That's gonna fill up my macros for the day. We'll see. Whilst that pasta is cooking, I also figure I haven't got enough fruit and veg in today, so load up on this. Hopefully this will give me a lot of nutrients because I'm not gonna eat as many. If you click up here, you'll see my game day uh, diet type thing and you realize it involves not a lot of fruit and vegetables so it's important to get extra fruit and veg in like a couple of days before a couple of days after just in general apart from not the day that you're playing a game last meal of the day is going to be porridge and that will be accompanied by some blueberries and that will end this video i sincerely hope everyone enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up let me know what you're seeing in the next video and answer that question i asked before remember
see you in the next video